pack for my get home get home bag. Got to have the paracord. Okay. Got some duct tape around it too. Any any reason I can have some extra duct tape, I'll take it. This is about 50 feet, give or take. A paracord. Like to keep a pair of gloves, no matter what the season is. Some thin gloves too for working, whatever. Whatever you you know. Whatever you can use. Um, a little knit hat. Once again, weather. A little situational. A uh, small little makeshift kit. This has medicines, bandages, all kinds of stuff on in here. Um, I like to keep with it actually. This is another little medic kit that I usually keep in there too. This is not my medic my medicine or my medic kit that goes with my bug out bag you know like I said this is modular to that system that I have a whole nother thing you know a whole nother setup but this is just some other stuff that I need need in here also I also carry a limited food supply like I said this is not my bug out bag this is not a 72 hour bag so I just got a bunch of power bars cliff bars um, any kind of little snacks you can think of granola you know, you gotta have something just in case you gotta, you know, it's gonna take you a little longer than possible. Some binoculars, you know, definitely gotta do some scouting um, of the area. Key. I like to keep that with me. Um, drinks, water. I don't know, I think I had a juice box laid around, so I threw that in there last time. Um, so some extra water just to get you going, or to keep you going, should I say? Um, also carry, you know, one of these little survival blankets. They can be handy. I've used them. I really can. Um, I do got a compass for navigation. Okay. Also on me at any given time. You know, I usually have navigation with me any every day. On my watch. Also, this is some little, little other knife, little neck knife. You gotta carry extra light. Got an extra flashlight in here. Also, I do carry some camel paint because you never know when you're gonna have to actually camo up and disappear a little bit. So you wanna make sure, you know, you got something for that too. Um, usually I carry also something that's not in here, like a camouflage hat and a small thin camouflage shirt or something. Oh, there it is, that's why it's not in there. So you might want to camo up a little bit, you know. Sometimes you need to hide, sometimes you want to be found. Also, I carry this. This is a kit that carries many different um, fire options. <laughs> I like to have many different fire options. Um, of course, you got your Vaseline and your cotton balls. You got your uh, steel wool. Hand sanitizer, it's good for cleaning and it's also good for starting a fire. Um, dryer lint, definitely want to have some dryer lint. Good tinder, great tinder for starting fires. Um, there's a fire steel, very handy for starting your fires. I do carry some trip wires for uh, snare setting. If you got to make some snares or for whatever you may need. Um, some tripwire for. Once again, a magnesium block, another fire starting method. A uh, little overboard on the face camel. This I usually carry in my other my bug out bag, but here's some more face camel. Waterproof matches, windproof matches. This is actually a makeshift little uh, fishing rod setup I got here. It's basically a stick with about 100, 100, probably about 100 yards of, of line twisted all in here. Underneath all this tape and stuff, I got little uh, 
jig heads and hooks and weights and stuff like that. Um, believe it or not, I actually caught some bluegill with this, so it is somewhat effective. Um, I got your um, aqua drops, which, uh, you know, for uh, stabilizing your water, making it paddable to drink. Battery to go with the steel wool. You got your lighter. And a little P38 for uh, opening the can. A little bandana for camoing up, like I said. And that pretty much covers everything in just to get a home bag. This is just stuff I carry with me in my car to get me home. To get home to my bug out bag. Part two of this video, I'll actually go over the bug out bag. So uh, this is going to run 13. And once again, I'm just trying to give you guys a quick video on, uh, on what I keep to get myself home in any situation. Um, so... Guys, this is another video. Stay tuned for part two on the bigger bag, on the, on the bug out bag. And I appreciate all your support, guys. Thanks. Um, a little knit hat. Once again, weather. A little situational. Uh, small little makeshift kit. This has medicines, bandages, all kinds of stuff on in here. Um, I like to keep with it, actually. This is another little medic kit that I usually keep in there too. This is not my medic, my medicine or my medic kit that goes with my bug out bag. You know, like I said, this is modular to that system. That I have a whole nother thing, you know, a whole nother setup, but this is just some other stuff that I need, need in here also. I also carry a limited food supply. Like I said, this is not my bug out bag. This is not a 72 hour bag. So I just got a bunch of power bars, cliff bars, um, any kind of little snacks you can think of, granola. You know, you gotta have something just in case you gotta, you know, it's gonna take you a little longer than possible. Some binoculars, you know, definitely you gotta do some scouting um, of the area. Key. I like to keep that with me. Um, drinks. Water. I don't know. I think I had a juice box later out, so I threw that in there last time. Um, so some extra water just to get you going. Or to keep you going, should I say. Um, also carry, you know, one of these little survival blankets. They can be handy. I've used them. They really can. Um, I do got a compass for navigation. Okay. Also on me at any given time, you know, I usually have navigation with me any, every day on my watch. Also, this is some little, little other knife, little neck knife. You gotta carry extra light, got an extra flashlight in here. Also, do carry some camo paint because you never know when you're going to have to actually camo up and disappear a little bit. So you want to make sure, you know, you got something for that too. Um, usually I carry also something that's not in here, like a camouflage hat and a small thin camouflage shirt.